All righty, guys. Welcome back to something new for me. Null Knives. I had not heard of Null Knives until this showed up on my doorstep, so to speak. Kind of a cool package, kind of not. I'm not sure. The jury's out on the box. I love the foam cutout. That's cool. The box drawer thing, I just, I don't know. I'm not sure I love it. I think there's just, yeah, I'd rather have a magnetic top in uh, closure, but that's just me. Let me know your thoughts down below. Here is a little bit about the knife that we're going to talk about today. This is the Voodoo. And it came with the Dark Tie Kit, which comes with a Dark Tie a pocket clip, backspacer, and triway thumb studs. And we'll talk about the triway thumb studs in just a minute. This is an add on, okay? This all comes from Ozzy Mike. He opted for the almost $200 accessory pack, okay? Very cool. I don't know that I'm going to put it on. I think I will just ship it down to Australia in its configuration as it stands today. But since we're already zoomed in, let's just zoom in and give you a quick look around the knife to begin with this time. So, titanium bolster lock. This particular one is in black micarta. They have some with carbon fiber. They have some with different colored micartas. And I think that's very cool that they have a lot of options. The knife came in at $360. Typically don't talk about price, but sometimes I do. What are you going to do, right? So it is a captured pivot. You see there's hardware only on one side. It is a D-shaped pivot, which is super cool. Runs on ceramic bearings and a ceramic detent. Here is that thumb stud. Kind of a pyramid, upside down pyramid shaped with milling, stepped milling if it will focus, which I think is super cool. There's one screw that goes all the way through and just attaches to the other stud. Really cool way to do it. Nice milling in the blade that does give you the ability to spidey flick or reverse flick this blade if that is your desire. Not mine, but it does work. The stump thumb studs work really well also. It does sort of work with the reverse flick. I suck at it because I think it's a stupid, silly way of opening a knife, but that is just my opinion, and apparently my brother shares the same opinion. Beautiful hollow grind with some smudges on it, it appears. What the heck? All right, close enough. Yeah, it's a cool knife. Not really my favorite blade shape. Okay. It's a modified sheep's foot with a harpoon on the top. You know, I, it works. It works really well. And it's super slicey, super sharp, deep hollow grind, which I wished I could really portray on camera, but how do you... How do you really portray the hollow grind? I don't know. And with a super slick point for piercing and cutting. This thing's going to work really well for whatever you need to have it do. Now, the micarta is going to change color over time as it absorbs the oils from your hand, the dirts, uh, the grime, that sort of stuff. I think this will look really great with that dark tie uh, pocket clip and things like that. But I also do like just really this blacked out look. Yeah, it's a cool knife. Let's get into some of the specs, shall we? Four and five inches, four and five eighths inches closed. Eight and a quarter overall. 3.6 inch blade with a 3.45 cutting edge. M390 weighs in at four ounces. Overall thickness is 0.541. Ceramic bearings and detent, as I mentioned. Now, this was started in 2020 by Sean, the founder, um, 
in New York. Now, these are made overseas. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It doesn't say. Um, but for this kind of price and whatnot, yeah, I'm sure they are made by an OEM. I did not find that info right on their website. But if you know, I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. Because that's what you guys like to do. And I'm good with that. I don't know everything. Obviously, I didn't even know about this company until it showed up on my doorstep, right? Which is okay. I have no problem with that. I don't claim to know everything. I really don't even claim to know much, quite frankly. But I am just some knucklehead on the internet with a camera and a YouTube channel that some of you guys actually watch from time to time. So that was the Sharpie. This is the Spyterco Delica. How about the Kubi KB237? Still one of my favorite budget knives in that $40 to $50 range. Also on ceramic bearings and detent. And as we step up, how about the VC Edge interface? Just because I'm going to throw a few things in here because I can. And a custom Hellraiser. I do kind of gravitate towards that more dark theme and carbon fiber and black micarta, things like that really do uh, do something for me. I really do appreciate that type of material and that darker look. So those of you that are familiar with Knoll Knives, please comment down below. They do have other models. I'm going to put a link to their website down below. This is just their most current model. It is sold out in all the configurations right now. Again, not only do I not know everything, I generally am bad on timing and I am not the guy that shows the latest and greatest thing. Every so often, I have actually nailed it and been able to show a knife the day it releases or a few days before it releases. That has happened maybe three times. One of the videos actually went really well. Benchmade bug out the most current version. That one did phenomenal because for whatever reason, Benchmade saw it. Benchmade reposted it on their Instagram, and that video got like eleven thousand views in a couple of days. Yeah, that was a shocker to me too. Whatever. Sometimes even a blind squirrel finds a nut. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. I will leave you with that little tidbit.